what we're going to do this morning. We're going to make this cute little Christmas stocking out of paper. It's kind of reinforced, so it's a little heavier, but let's just get started. So what I am going to be using to make this is this sheet of paper. You could use any images and any paper, and by the time we're done, I'm hoping you could do that with whatever you have. And then what you need is two heavier sheets, and this is just a heavier paper that I am using, and it's 11 by 17, so you could use shipping paper, you could use craft paper, anything you would like for your background. And I drew this template out. It will come as two pieces, since this is 11 by 17, or just draw your own stocking. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is cut out my large elements. Get my water in my paintbrush. This paper happens to be a little coated. It doesn't soak in quite as easily as it does like on a tissue paper or other paper. So these are the pieces that I've cut out of the paper. I have my Santa and I knew I wanted the word wishing you a Merry Christmas and the word post and any of these big pieces. So these pieces here, I knew I wanted um, black behind them just to give them a little more dimension. So I'm just setting these over here. And these are the pieces that I have cut that I know aren't going to have black behind them. So we'll just get started with this. So I am just going to decoupage these onto this black paper. And I'm just gonna use my decoupage medium. Use whatever glue or paste you would like. So when I've glued all these pieces down, what I'm gonna do is cut these out and I'm gonna cut them out the same way I cut the originals. And I am just gonna use some water around and just kind of go around the edge. Give myself a little room. If I need to cut it more, I will. Okay, so I've got these with the black behind them. So I've got these kind of cut out and I cut them out just a little larger. And what I'm gonna do now is cut out my stocking. You could put your elements on first and cut it out, but it's hard to see your line. Cutting this out first made it much easier. So I've kind of lined things up and I wanna see what's gonna be underneath. So I'm just gonna start gluing with my underneath pieces first. After you've figured out how you like it, and you still may have to change some of your borders and edges, but at least it gives you a feel for what goes down first. So then start gluing all your elements on here. Okay, so now this is one time I can see I'm gonna want the black on this to be cut a little so I see more of the greenery. So you can just take your water and paintbrush again and just kind of trim it a little smaller. Now you don't need to worry about these edges, we'll trim all this later. Just make sure what you want is actually on the stocking template. So now I am just gonna trim these little edges here real quick. So I'm just gonna cut the back piece out. And like I said earlier, you could just use a heavy uh, packing paper, a shipping paper, uh, craft, whatever color you would like, just something heavier duty. I have my front and my back, and it's gonna slide a little, so I'm just gonna use masking tape because that's really not gonna tear anything off. I'm just gonna tape in a few areas, and when I get to that spot in the machine, I'll just remove the tape. And you really could have the big piece and just sew around it, but cutting around that, you end up with an edge that sticks out, so I really like doing it this way, cutting both pieces. Okay, let's go sew this little guy. So I'm just gonna do a zigzag stitch around all the edges and I wanna use a large zigzag so I for sure catch the paper. Okay, let's go wax him. So now I'm gonna wax and I'm sure when you're looking at that and that saying, oh my gosh, that doesn't look the same at all. Well, just wait and see. I'm using clear wax. And if you guys have seen my other videos, you know I love wax on paper. And use any clear wax you would like. This just happens to be a min wax. I'm gonna put dark over it. 
If you're going to use any other color wax, you want your clear first. Otherwise, when you put your other color on, it will immediately soak in and you cannot get any of it off. So you just really want to use clear first and then add anything else you want to the top. Now I'm going to use a little bit of dark wax. Okay, let's let this dry. So this is the one we just did, and I just took a big long stick and carefully put it in. And I'm gonna leave this in here until it really seems to set, and it'll open it up some, like this one is, and it's hardened kind of open, which makes it kind of nice. The only other thing I might do is add a fun sorry silk um, hanger to it so you can hang it up. But I hope you guys try this idea with whatever papers you have or whatever you would like, but you know, just have fun.